Now that I've read the prompt in the documents and I've written out my thesis, I'm ready to begin actually writing the essay. Now as I do, I'm going to focus on getting the contextualization point and getting the thesis point right away. Let's talk about this contextualization point. The contextualization point is all about you proving that you can put the prompt in context. So here I am on my actual free response paper. What I like to do when I'm writing contextualization is have about three or four sentences and talk about one or two specific things. Now let's remember the prompt. The prompt says 1840 to 1914 and it's talking about European imperialism. And it would be a mistake for me to focus on 1492 and 1550. My time period begins in 1840, so bring your contextualization close to the specific time period. Now, what's going on with the global colonial expansion in the late 1700s, early 1800s? Well, I have the American Revolution, 1776, the U.S. breaks away from Great Britain. I have the Haitian Revolution in the early part of the 19th century. I have the Louisiana Purchase, where the French are selling off their, all their territories in the New World to, to the United States. Maybe that's a great way of showing some context. So I could say this. I could say throughout the ages mankind has always been exploring, but that won't get me contextualization. So I'm going to say this. In the decades leading up to the early 19th century, 19th century means early 1800s, major European powers were losing control of their colonies abroad. That's some good context, but let me just get more specific. For example, the American Revolution and the Haitian Revolution damaged British and French, which are the two big themes of these documents, interests in the Western Hemisphere. So this is probably enough information already, but I want to link it directly to my thesis, show how it relates, provides a meaningful context. So it's not just enough to know that stuff happened before 1840, but how does that relate to my argument that the primary motives were economic? It relates to my argument because this created an economic need for further expansion. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this created a need for further economic growth in other regions of the world, including, and the documents talk about, Asia and Africa. Now I'm ready to put my thesis in here. And this is what's beautiful, is by setting up my contextualization in the first paragraph and then putting my thesis, I'll finish the first paragraph with both the thesis point and the contextualization point. 